for tech stars, people that want to join tech but do not have money. There is a free one going on and it's supported by Microsoft and ISDP. Everything is totally free. Cybersecurity data analysis, blockchain, technical writing, product design, product management, deep learning, machine learning. They are also going to award the best students, good placement in big tech companies. Some are working for Intersuite, some are working for even Microsoft. <laughs>
and the winner goes on with 12 million naira. While the intermediate, the first runner up goes on with 7.5 million, the second runner up goes on with 10 million naira, and the winner goes on with 15 million naira. For the civil servant, the first runner up goes on with 5 million, the second runner up goes on with 7.5, and the winner goes on with 10 million naira. Apart from giving you free trainings, on cybersecurity, um, data science, um, software engineering, um, blockchain, technical writing, product management, product design. Um, it's a lot. I'm going to be leaving a link in the description box for you to use and register. And honestly, it's a good one. It's completely free. There is no registration fee. There is nothing fee. It's supported by Microsoft. It's an ISDP. How many times did I say it? It's totally free. There is no money, anything. There is no registration, anything. There is nothing. There is nothing. In fact, if you are in a remote places where you don't have laptop, you don't have anything, there is an arrangement with partnered hubs where people can go and take their trainings and exam. Everything totally free. Like I said, it's free. Free. Everything is free. You don't have to pay huge sums of money to learn digital skills anymore. Like, there are good organizations sponsoring these things. But only problem is you having the right information to know these things. Like, I remember telling one of my colleagues in the office that ah, there's a particular guy on YouTube that was doing a master class and I wanted to have to just attend. But when he was calling money, I just just dropped. He just told me that I see all these things that people are paying money for me. I will not pay anything. I will have all these skills. And that stopped. The thing is, are you in a place where you get you get the right information? The yes, students are doing well. They get the best placements after training. Their testimonials are everywhere and they are just everywhere in the country, not just in Lagos, not just in the cities. They are everywhere in the rural areas. Um, it's just a huge platform. So I will be showing us how to go about the registration form. The link on the description box would direct you to the, the participant mobilization form where you fill um, your personal details and also fill your referral code. Your referral code is like a reference code. And your reference code is 27. Do not forget, 27. So once you click on this form, it's going to take you to this participation mobilization form. Um, here you fill in your name. For the sake of this, filling this form, let me just put a random information here because I'm not going to submit. my email let me see joy124 at yahoo.com phone number 0809999 okay now this is your referral code this referral code is a code from different volunteers that are signed up for this so you're going to put number 27 as your referral code and submit once you submit it's going to take you to this page your name okay i'll pick for the sake of filling this form i'll pick this number i'll pick my um my email is here my age i can pick marital status state of origin for the sake of filling this form let me pick lagos amenities you can pick one of this then next um what do you do currently? You can say you're a student waiting for admission, a student in a tertiary institution and employed, not working at the moment, an employee. Then which of these following best describe your employment? Are you a 
a business owner, civil servant, employee in a, in a private organization, or are you not working? Are you a student? Choose anyone that best describe your situation. What is the highest level of education you've received? Bachelor or equivalent? Are you a person with disability? No. On average, how much is your monthly income? You can pick anyone and then you click on next. Um, to what extent does your current work studies involve the use of digital skill? If you don't have, if your work does not involve tech and, and it does not involve digital skills, you can pick no tech. If you involve a little tech, you can click this. Like, it's quite simple. A lot, extremely tech. It's quite simple. Rate your ability to use a computer. I don't have any prior knowledge on how to use computer. I have basic knowledge on Microsoft Word and other Office tools. I can use spreadsheets. I can do a lot of things. You know, number the next. Which of these following best describe your digital skill training journey in the past? I've not had anyone click this. I've had both physical and online click this. I've had only physical click this. I've had both online and physical classes click the next one. Do you participate in the Digital for All Challenge? Did you participate in the Digital for All Challenge 1.0? no they've done this last year the first one they did was 1.0 they are doing another one this year 2.0 so if participated in the last year challenge you can pick yes if you have not participated before you click no next if you're to learn a digital skill which of these skills interest you the most Digital marketing, software development, graphics design, product design, product management, data science, cybersecurity, 3D animation, blockchain technology, all this. For me, I would advise you to use AI to get the right one that best describe you. If you're still confused on what to choose, use AI. Like you can copy the whole of this, type all these skills, and ask AI the one that best describe your background, like what you do currently. AI will fish, like filter the skills that best describe your background or situation. Then out of the uh, many skills that AI is going to list for you, you will not pick the one that interests you the most. That's a better way of going about this. So this is where you copy and paste remember to not just copy and paste you're going to say it in your own language now i have please tick the option that best describe your preparation for the program i have a functional laptop yes i have a smartphone that can fill in for laptop yes or no you can choose i have a good internet connectivity i have 40 hours to dedicate for this weekly on a platform on what platform did you hear about dfa challenge if it's facebook instagram twitter whatsapp anyone can choose right um to qualify for this you must be following tech for dev on any of our social media platforms facebook twitter youtube this is the name for linkedin this is the name for instagram and this is the name for um linkedin so if you're following you click yes if you're not following you should click no but please make sure you follow them on any of our social media handles because you get more information from the platforms um kindly input your social media handle for me my social media handle is at official chicken man kindly indicate the frequency at which you have access to a digital skill, e.g. a computer, mobile phone, tablet. I have access to it every day. If you have access to it once a week, please indicate here. If you don't have access, please indicate here. But if you don't have access, how do you plan to do this? The next one is use a digital device, e.g. computer, mobile phone, tablet. How often do you use it every day? Now, how often do you have access to internet at home or work? every day now how do you communicate with people on the internet how often 
is every day. What device are you likely to use for assessing the DFA during your learning journey? Are you going to use a laptop or a desktop or a tablet or a smartphone? For me, I'm not going to use a desktop. I'll click no. But I'm going to be using a laptop. I also use a tablet. I also use a smartphone. It's also fine if you're not going to use a tablet. If you're just going to use only laptop, use click laptop. If you're only going to use smartphone, click only smartphone. It's not compulsory that you feel yes, 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 or all these things. Which of these devices will be your primary tool for assessing the DFA platform during your learning? My primary tool will be my laptop. Or if your primary tool is be your is, is is your smartphone, you can pick smartphone. But I feel laptop should be the best. On a scale of one to five, with one being the lowest and five as the highest, please indicate the level of quality you expect from DFA platform in terms of the following. The course content should be interesting. Of course, I expect the context of the course to be interesting. The video should not be too long. Yes. The content should be relevant, yes. In fact, I expect everything here to be excellent. Like, I give it high, high points. The ideas and content in the video should be clearly communicated. I expect five. The DFA learning platform should be easy to navigate. Learners' complaints should be easily resolved. There should be readily materials to support learning process. What learning environment style would you prefer? I would prefer a self paced learning if you want a self-paced learning like if you want your if you want to learn in your own terms in your own time like you go to work come back in the night decide the hours the time you want to start and the time you want to finish that self-paced learning if you want online instructor le learning you can choose if you want someone to come online and teach you as a social um, designated time you choose this if you want a physical instructor like learning you choose this if you want a hybrid learning like online and offline you can choose hybrid for me I choose self pace what will make the digital for all challenge success for you significant improvement in my knowledge I have more self-confidence in my digital I have improved you read all this and you choose the one that best describe your situation for me, I would choose the ability to apply skills in real world situations. Now, what is the main challenge you expect might slow your progress in your learning journey? Is it combining schoolwork with the training program or balancing work responsibilities with the training schedule? or helping the family to make a living or join. I join because it's popular, not because I'm really interested. Now, I don't think anybody may want to go for, um, I don't think, why would someone just join because it's popular? Everybody's talking about tech. So let me just go and do tech without any interest. I'm just curious to know. Um, for me, I'll choose um, balancing work responsibilities with the training schedules. Then next. If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. This will encourage me and of course to help my YouTube algorithm and also motivate me to continue to do videos. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.